his eyes are my eyes, and my eyes are his eyes, and it's true. And then the story went from being amazing to incredible. It was an article to Twins Reunited. I think I might be the third. It is a story that is dramatic, extraordinary, and true. Triplets Robert, David, and Eddie separated at birth who found each other in 1980 through coincidence, becoming me media sensations. You guys have been on the front page of every newspaper in the world. True. True. They were more like clones than they were like brothers. Years on, Robert and David know all too well that exhilaration did not last. Our life story um, has got its, its highs and its lows and its losses. It's different, we're telling an entirely different story, and Eddie's not here. Eddie died in 1995, and it has taken his brothers decades to agree to tell their story, one in which the siblings were part of a psychiatric study in the 60s in America, in which they were split up at birth, neither they nor their three adoptive families knowing they were triplets, and regularly monitored to see if nature or nurture was dominant in their development. The findings of the study were locked away and have never been published. I felt really angry for you. Do you feel angry? Can't turn back the clock. Um, I think that there are definitely steps that can be taken that would help us come to terms. For one thing, if the study was used and opened and some good came of it. The idea of collecting all this data and then publishing something that you've learned about it that's useful after exploiting these people for the purpose of this study or never even publishing a study. Never even getting anything out of it. Now you've messed with people's lives and you've got no useful purpose for it. The shocking experiment may have been of its time, says the documentary maker. Its themes, though, remain current. I think Nature Nurture, it was an obsession in the 60s. You know, everyone was talking about it, and it kind of goes in and out of fashion. But it is a universal question. What makes us who we are? Is it our, our families and our upbringing, or is it our, our genetics that we're born with? Their documentary has already broken box office records in America. But Robert and David are just hoping it will bring more answers. Nina Nanar, News at 10.